Hey guys, I get so many questions from parents asking me questions on how to start or create a regimen for their children's hair. So here is my daughter Summer's complete regimen from start to finish. I hope you can find this helpful and use this as a base to start your child's hair journey. So the first thing I do is wash, deep condition, and detangle. I do this every two weeks. <laughs> yes, every two weeks. Now that she's three years old, she is getting her hair washed every two weeks. Now, from the age of zero to probably about one and a half, she was getting her hair washed once a week. But now her hair has grown and we wash it every two weeks. So some of these clips I have already previously recorded full videos, so I'll leave them above. But I begin by washing her hair. And I only use Taylor Beauty products on her hair. I use a moisturizing shampoo. And I give her hair a really good scrub. And as I mentioned, I have a full video on some of these, so I will leave them above. And I deep condition. Now, as a lot of you know that I do not use combs. Um... I don't use combs because they cause a breakage, so this is the only time her hair gets a good detangle. Um, also, as I stated, when she was younger, I was washing her hair once a week. Um, and I wasn't detangling it as much, but I did detangle during her wash when she was younger. You want to make sure you um, wash and condition your child's hair during wash day. You don't want to skip either step, especially if you are going to be using products on their hair because you want to get rid of a lot of product buildup. So the next step that I do is I air dry overnight. The reason why I air dry overnight is because I don't like to style her hair on wet hair. So I've... Follow up with my wash routine doing the LOC method. So liquid is the water from the wash and now I'm adding the oil to her hair. Anytime I air dry, I do do the LOC method and I work the oil into her hair. And then next what I will do is I will part her hair into large sections, anywhere between four to eight braids. And I will add some butter and then I will do her hair in large plaits. I like to do this the night before um, because I like for her hair to be fully dried. Um, so our wash day does take a full two days. It takes one day to wash and air dry and then the next day we style. As you can see, I'm not borrowing any hair when I've braided and I have not used a comb during this process. So I typically like to do this um, earlier during the day. And if we go out, I will style her plaits into a neat style so that it doesn't look too bad while it's air drying. So the next step that I do is a long-term protective hairstyle. And it can last either one to two weeks. Now at three years old, our protective hairstyle is lasting two weeks. My go-to, absolute go-to hairstyle is mini twists. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know I love mini twists. They help retain moisture so well, and I really don't have to do anything. If she wants a cute hairstyle, I will put a cute hairstyle in those mini twists in a minute. Now, I do use rubber bands. Um, I have no issues. I cut them out when she's not looking. And what I'll do is the next day when it's air dried, I'll add a little bit of butter. This will add more moisture. Her hair is pretty moisturized, but the butter gives it a nice hold. It gives it a nice shine and it gives it a nice amount of moisture. That moisture can last me anywhere from five to seven days. And when I get to the ends, I'll add a little bit more butter just because the ends are the oldest part of the hair. And to seal the moisture in her ends, I will go ahead and coil it. Even as an infant, I always put protective hairstyles in her hair. This has been the key to retaining 
her lamp and returning moisture. So it makes it easy when they start at a young age. So the next step is to protect the hair at night. This is a crucial, crucial step. So I have three different preferred methods on how I protect her hair at night. One is a wig cap. We started using the wig cap around three or four months. I can't remember, but we started using this at a very young age because it doesn't slip off the head. And we started with naps. Around two years old, we did trans transition to a satin scarf which you can see here they sell these kids satin scarves at the beauty supply store and i like them because they give her a snug fit and we also use her bonnet so we alternate between the three um but i definitely my favorite is always going to be the wig cap step five moisturize and seal midweek so here's the same twist from a little bit earlier. These are about four days old. As you can see, they still look very, very neat because we've been using her wig cap at night. So I moisturize and seal her hair midweek, um, mid hairstyle. Sometimes I do this two times between the two weeks. But what I'll do is I'll spray it while the twists are still in so that I do not have any frizz and I gently pull them apart. See how nice that looks? You can even do a twist out with that. So next, I'll add a little bit of butter. And this is how I moisturize and seal. Very simple. If I feel like her hair is dry or I feel like it's frizzy, I'll keep the rubber bands. I won't do anything but re-moisturize and seal. As you can see, she does very well when she gets her hair done. Um, having a regimen is so important at a young age because you want to get them used to being patient and getting their hair done because there's nothing like a child that is screaming and crying because they're fearful of getting their hair done. This can cause a lot of frustration for parents, which limits hair growth. So also for a lot of moms who do not protect their style, um, sometimes we may go a week without um, doing a protective style just because my schedule might be busy. But here's an older clip of me showing how I moisturize and seal her hair. Um, I typically don't like to do hairstyles like this because as you can see, it's prone to tangles. Um, but if I wasn't styling her hair, we would do a simple hairstyle like this daily. And this is how we would moisturize and seal when her hair is not in a protective hairstyle. So during the week, if her hair is out, we will alternate between moisturizing and sealing and doing the LOC method. I know her hair, so I usually know her hair's moisturizing needs if she is wearing her hair out. So another step is to trim every six months. I begin trimming closer to the two year mark. Um, every parent is different, but I noticed she needed her first trim when it was getting more difficult for me to detangle at the ends. As you can see, I'm kind of fighting her ends when I detangle. Um, so I will trim on air dried hair and I'll usually cut off a half an inch. Right now, we're doing this every six months, but um, it might change as her hair continues to grow. So step seven is very simple. Just repeat. Um, every child's hair is different. Um, if your child's, if these steps don't work for your child's hair, just try to do something a little bit different. Try moisturizing more, try moisturizing less. The point of building a regimen is all about trial and error. I hope you guys found this video very helpful. If you have any tips on how you created your child's regimen, please be sure to leave it up. And if you found this video helpful, thumbs up and share. Thanks for watching. All of the products that I mentioned in this video can be found on my website, tailoredbeautyproducts.com. These are the only products that I've been using in her hair since she's been an infant.